We begin tonight with the toll the coronavirus has been taking on businesses and their employees. A big announcement today from University Hospitals reminds us healthcare institutions are not immune from the economic pain. Here's Mark Namick. Ohio's hospitals providing critical shelter for many sick with coronavirus, but suffering too, unable to escape the pandemic's economic fallout. We are projecting uh, about a $1.3 billion monthly impact, negative impact to hospitals uh, in the state um, uh, responding to this. That reality hitting one of the region's largest hospital systems and its employees. University hospitals announcing today that it's reducing pay and hours of 4,100 employees by 20% for the next 10 weeks. A move to stop the financial bleeding caused by the suspension of money-making non-emergency surgeries and procedures, something all hospitals did to preserve staff and supplies for a possible surge in corona patients. Those on the front lines will not see a pay cut. University Hospitals is also temporarily cutting back contributions to employees' retirement plans. SUMA Healthcare, which includes Akron City Hospital, announced earlier this month that it's furloughing about 5% of its workers, or about 360 employees. The hospital didn't say how long furloughs would last. The independent Western Reserve Hospital in Cuyahoga Falls also cut employee pay or hours for some. The Cleveland Clinic, the largest hospital system in the area, says it has no plans to reduce pay or hours of employees at this time. Likewise, Metro Health System is not making cuts. Its CEO, Akram Boutro, said in a recent employee video that the hospital will soon offer some procedures halted earlier, such as mammograms and colonoscopies. For the past few weeks, we have been preparing for the day when we are permitted to return to providing the services we did before the crisis. With no vaccine yet available to combat COVID-19 and new surges of the infection expected in the fall, the bottom line of hospitals will continue to suffer, even with more federal aid on the way, experts say. The long-term impacts uh, could be severe for, for many of the hospitals uh, in the state that are um, um, combating this. The economic pain really is being felt across the state. Here's a couple of numbers that put it in perspective. $42 million, that's what hospitals lose every single day, and they spend another $5 million a day on protective gear and other things related to treating the virus. That means their bottom line is gonna be in bad shape for a while. Reporting from Beachwood, Mark Namick, 3 News. Oh my gosh, $42 million a day, that's just incomprehensible. Certainly puts a, a number in scope there. Thanks a lot, Mark, we appreciate it.